The Atyab Fulani and Hausa nations in Zangun Kataf local government area of Kaduna State have signed a pact, a peace pact uh, in the land. This follows a Saturday meeting of aggrieved parties in the area which has led to great nerves. Uh, they have been curfew, there has been curfew in the local government following instability over a purported portion of the land. Signing the peace treaty, it is hoped, would be the end of the bloodletting. Joining us now from Kaduna is our correspondent, Tessem Makinde. Tessem, good morning. It's good to have you join us right now. Yeah, it's good to have you. It's good right. to join the show as well. When everyone heard that uh, there was a, a peace agreement, even for all the sides to meet, a lot of people were jubilant because uh, it, it looked forward to bringing lasting peace to, to uh, southern Kaduna. But what's the nature of things now, considering the communique that was signed by all the sides, including the traditional ruler? Well, this, uh, this signals a lot of good news, and uh, people are hoping that it will be followed to the latter. But I must say that this is not the first time we're having peace parks in Kaduna State. In fact, uh, there have been accusations by different factions within that area of certain positions not keeping to agreed terms. Uh, we're hoping that this time around, the story will be different. And, uh, lasting peace will be known in that local government. Uh, Tessem, you have been following uh, developments uh, there, and like you have said, this is not the first time there is a peace pact signed. Now, from the details of this uh, new peace pact, would you say it is all-encompassing, such that uh, both sides will, this will calm freight nerves on both sides, rather? Yes, to a very great extent, I believe that uh, this will go a long way to you know, bring peace to that area. Uh, but I must say that, um, you know, there's deep-rooted, um, the process has to be gradual. It's been signed, uh, but uh, things have to be taken one step at a time for <coughs> this to get, um, you know, down to the hearts of the people. It's normal to, you know, have our cameras stationed and then have these people representative sign these parts. Uh, these were signed, you know, the representatives only did something symbolic for their nations. But of course, there are many people to these nations. So while their representative did this, of course, there are many people that, uh, you know, will or will not actually accept or agree to this, you know, in total. So we're hoping that uh, all the parties will be carried along and uh, all the agreements will be followed to the, la to the latter. All right, Tessam, before we let you go, how involved is the state government in all of this? How committed is the, go is the government of the state? Yes, I can tell you that uh, the government has... Uh, uh, there were officials of the government at the signing of the peace pact. Uh, we had officials of the Kaduna State Peace Commission also joining. Uh, the Kaduna Peace Commission is a creation of the Nasser Arifai-led government to, you know, try and uh, see how peace can actually, you know, be, 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 be gotten, not just, uh, you know, in Zangun, Qatar, but across all the local government areas of uh, the landscape called Kaduna State. All right. Tessa Makinde, thank you so much for your time on the program.